This is the Beat Studio Buds Plus, more specifically the transparent version. On the other side we have the Nothing Ear 2, which also happens to be transparent. Both of them are decently priced, stylish and futuristic looking earbuds with active noise cancellation, but even though the designs might look similar, there are a couple of big differences between the two. Can the underdog Nothing outperform the behemoth in Apple? Let the facts speak. I would like to start off by checking out the designs and the build quality, as earbuds and their cases are turning into fashion accessories more and more every passing year. The Beats have a nice matte feel on the outside, and this is actually giving me nostalgia as it looks like a version of a Game Boy I had around 25 years ago. Nothing on the other hand has opted for a fully transparent build, which has more of a glass look than plastic. There's a really interesting detail here and I actually learned about it from Carl Pei on the Nothing YouTube channel. Check it out by the way if you haven't already, amazing content. Anyway, he mentions that their manufacturing process is insanely diligent because of the buds being fully transparent as well as the case. This means that if any dust or dirt were to get in them during production, they would have people from all over the world sending stuff back which would damage their reputation and that's something that they surely don't want as a new and hype company. I am personally a fan of matte finishes, so a point to the Beats case, but the thumb hole in the nothing case is also really cool as I also have a habit of turning things in my hand. Unfortunately, the only one that offers wireless charging is the Nothing Ear 2, ensuring that they drift even further ahead in this head-to-head -head competition. Next up, we have sound quality. Overall, while the Beats Buds have great bass, it's gotten to a point where I'm kind of disappointed in saying the same thing in every Beats comparison. Yes, they have nailed the bass since the day they came out, as the person who created this brand was Dr. Dre, the legendary hip-hop producer. You all remember, right? Beats by Dre? Yeah, but it feels like Apple should have put a lot more on top of what Beats actually was, which to me, they haven't really been able to do. The sound quality is okay, but okay doesn't really cut it when you cost more than $150. As for the Ear 2, the sound quality is good. They've improved the first iteration of these buds to a level where I can comfortably say that the immersion is on point and the experience of the music doesn't feel flat like it does on the Beats. This definitely doesn't mean that the beats have bad quality, but it's kind of frustrating because we do expect more from a brand such as Apple. And of course, this would not be an earbud comparison if we did not check out the mics. In my ear right now is the Nothing Ear 2, and from reviews that I watched on YouTube, it actually seems like they have a pretty decent mic. But we cannot know this for sure unless we ourselves test it against the beats. And now it is time for the Beats Studio Buds Plus. From what I saw once again, these also have a pretty good mic, but they might need to be improved just a slight bit to reach the level of the Nothing Ear 2. However, you know that we like to do our own reviews to reach our own conclusions, so those reviews on YouTube don't really matter until we get back to the studio and see for ourselves. Now let's talk about one of the most important things, active noise cancellation. As I previously mentioned, Beats were acquired by Apple, who are one of the industry leaders when it comes to earbuds and headphones with great sound quality and design. The ANC on the AirPods earbuds along with the AirPods Max are really good, but on the other hand, there's no way that Apple would put this kind of quality ANC into the Beats since they mostly use Beats as a budget slash mid-range brand. Even then, when we tested which one fared better when it came down to filtering out unwanted noise, the Beats Studio Buds performed slightly better. Just slightly though, as in, they are both pretty good and did what they needed to do to block out loud people as well as the sound of cars and traffic outside. Since the difference between them isn't huge, it's important to let you know that this shouldn't be a deciding factor in your choice as the Nothing Ear 2 does have quite a few more positives until now. When we add transparency into the mix, nothing really special to mention here. They are both pretty equal and the mode does what it's intended to do. As for the controls, the Ear 2 took something out of Apple's book. You're able to squeeze the stem to activate the controls that the earbuds provide you, such as play, pause, answer an incoming call, and more. These shortcuts are also fully customizable from the app. The Beats on the other hand have gone for a more old school approach with physical buttons requiring pressing to activate the controls. These are fairly standard for budget and mid-range earbuds purely because touch controls are much more expensive. 
Regardless, having to push the earbuds isn't the most comfortable thing since the earbud can slide deep into your ear, so the Nothing Ear 2 with its controls handled from the stem have an advantage in terms of ease of use. This isn't the only advantage that Nothing has over Beats when it comes to hardware and design though. For some reason, the Beats Studio Buds Plus do not have a sensor that works to pause the music when you take the buds out of your ears. This isn't a big problem for me as I pause the song for my buds before taking them out, but the reality is, I paid $80 for my Jabra Elite Active 4s. These buds are twice as expensive. In a time where pretty much anything above $120 has censored specifically for this reason, I really don't see an excuse for Beats to not include them. Well, it seems the reviews were correct. However, some of them were a bit exaggerated. The difference isn't huge, but the microphone of the Ear 2 does seem a bit cleaner and less processed than the Beats, at least in my eyes or rather, my ears. That being said, the difference isn't a game changer, you can still choose which one you want to choose regardless of the microphones. In general though, I'm pretty sure most people would go for the Nothing Ear 2. Beats were a cool brand with nice designs, but it's kinda disappointing how Nothing is a brand new company and they've managed to release better earbuds for $150, while the buds from Beats are $170 and perform slightly worse overall. Do you agree with our opinions? Regardless of your answer being yes or no, write a comment about it and don't forget to like and subscribe to stay with our channel. Take care.